so a lot of you have been having problems with my Mobile Suit Gundam online account video and that's because I originally recorded it back when the game was in open beta I think and the registration for the game has changed a little bit and the launcher has also changed so it's pretty much outdated and not very useful as a lot of people have pointed out uh, I don't really have any interest in playing the game right now it's, it's no fun playing when you can't understand or communicate with other players and when, when your pings like 300 it's really boring but I understand that a lot of people really want to play the game and they've been trying to play the game so I'm, I went ahead and did a little bit of research to figure out a new guide for you um, before I start the guide I want to give you guys a few, a few tools that I like to use when I'm signing up for a foreign game the first tool I have is called Lightshot this is a program that you can download and put on your uh, desktop and basically what you do is you hit pin, uh, print screen on your keyboard and it allows you to uh, highlight any kind of portion of your screen and then just you can hit the little cloud button and it'll automatically upload it to the internet on imager and uh, this tool is really useful because it allows you to use the next tool which is called free online OCR what's neat about this is it allows you to um, upload pictures of text and then turn those texts into uh, copy copyable text that you can then go to like uh, Google Translate and translate into English. Um, it's not the most accurate thing in the world. It's open source and free, so it's to be expected. But it can really help you out. And if that's not enough, there's always the uh, virtual katakana keyboard. And most of the uh, most of the text in uh, Gundam Online is going to be in katakana. So basically you just pick and choose whatever letters you want or whatever you see and uh, then you can just copy paste, go to Google Translate and then translate it for you. It's not always going to be accurate either, you know, Google Translate's not the best. So uh, it's a lot of guesswork and it's not always going to make sense. I'll provide links for all of these in the video description. Anyways, uh, on to the guide. First thing you need to head over to the registration page. This should be in English, but if it's not, there should be a button towards the bottom down here. This right here it's in Japanese, but in, on the Japanese page it'll say international portal in English. Just click that and it'll bring you here. For this, it's really straightforward. You just create an account. I'm using a thing called 10minutemail.com, um, minute which gives you a, an email address that lasts 10 minutes. So, since I just need a throwaway account for the guide, I'm using that. The only really important part about this is that you choose Asia and Japan as your country of origin or residence. And then you just uh, slide the puzzle piece in and confirm. Now this will send you an email to your mail account. Once that's done, the next part is going to the uh, download link for the uh, Bandai launcher. It'll be in the description. For the launcher, it's a simple launcher. You just uh, click yes. It, it'll be in Japanese, but it shouldn't be hard for you to figure out what buttons to push. And then uh, just launch it. Now, there's another game here, and the really easy way to tell which one you should be clicking is the one that isn't in closed beta testing, which is CBT at the top. So just make sure it's this one right here. 
um, then hit the orange button which will begin installation it's really easy to just click the uh, the end set your installation path click yes and then click OK I've already got everything installed after you've downloaded the initial file and installed the initial files you want to click the orange button again which will begin downloading the actual game itself that will take probably about depending on your internet probably about two hours it's about 10 gigabytes in size it took me about a little bit over half an hour but I have really fast internet now you don't need a VPN to actually download or update the game so don't bother with your VPN until after you have the game completely installed and updated my last video I used a VPN called what the fast but uh, now I've started using a VPN called mudfish I like this one because it's pretty simple you just download a program and then use this web dashboard you have to pay for it per usage so what you do is you uh, you buy credit and then as you use the VPN that credit is drained it's about I think about eight cents USD per gigabyte of data so it's it comes out to be cheaper than most VPNs with what the fast you get like a 30 day free trial and then you have to pay five or six ten dollars once you uh, swipe your account for mudfish you want to click this button right here at the top and that'll download the um, installation files just install it click yes for everything and uh, that should have it working when you use mudfish or any VPN you need to keep in mind that some antivirus protection will uh, actually interfere with it and make it not work so my AVG is fine with it but some other programs might not be fine with it so you might need to dis temporarily disable them um, another thing to keep in mind with mudfish is that you need to make sure that the tap 132 adapter is activated so just go to device manager and then scroll down to network adapters and, cho and choose the tap 132 adapter version 9 make sure it's not disabled Anyways, once you have Munchfish installed, working, put about a dollar in. Um, if you put the most basic amount of credit that you can put in, which is a dollar or ninety-nine cents, it'll co actually come to a dollar and eight cents, I guess, because of taxes or something. After you have that all done, you need to go to Setup, Program, then click on the Full VPN tab, and then you need to choose one of the Japanese Asia servers any of them should work uh, as you can see I'm on the Tokyo GMO server and then just click save and that will configure it to work uh, let me activate my mudfish real quick make sure you run it as administrator it'll tell you that it won't work without administrator so it shouldn't be a problem either way Okay. Um, as you see, I have everything checkmarked, ready to go. It's in full BPM mode already. Um, to make sure it's working, just go to like uh, what is my VPN.com or what is my <laughs> IP.com? I mean, and you can see it shows that I am connecting from Japan, GMO Internet Incorporated, Tokyo. So I'm good. Uh, go ahead and reopen your Bandai Launcher. Click on the orange button. Uh, right now, these symbols right here are saying that they're just saying game start. Uh, like I said, right down here is your your file check. So if something's not running right when you launch the game, just click that and it'll go through and download any missing files or re-download any corrupted files. left click to skip these as you can hear the 
music is pretty loud. So what they mean when they say ID is your email address, not your nickname. That's where a lot of people trip up and they run into problems. If you put your regular, like your nickname, it'll uh, it'll, it'll act like it's going to load up, but then it'll just bring you right back here with nothing. I'm not tell you why it's kicking you back. Anyways, uh, put your ID in, put your password in, hit enter, and this will pop up. You want to click on the left button, and this will take you to a web page. Sign in with your Bandai account. Hit enter. Hit the right button. Once you hit that, this will basically tell you that you confirmed your Gundam account. Go ahead and reopen the launcher and reopen the game. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, from here you can choose your server, I think they're called Sh Shangri-La and Francesca. i just choose the top one. I was connecting you to the server. I haven't messed with the video settings yet, that's why it's in such a small screen. Here's where you choose your faction. I'm going to go ahead and choose Zion. Choose your gender. Listen to that if you want to, I don't want to. It's just your, your basic type. Be a bald dude. Then you can customize your avatar a bit. Keep mine bald. Change his hair color. Outfit, skin color, voice. And I don't know what this is. Click that button to accept. Type in a character name. Okay, I guess I won't do that. Delete left button to accept and then you will be thrown into the opening sequence of the tutorial.